Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have become the unwilling targets of a vile website which is refusing to take down its racist and offensive content to protect the right of free speech of extremists. The upsetting content shared on website GAB.com include mocked-up cartoons targeting Meghan's mixed-race heritage. And the Duke of Sussex has not been excluded from these attacks, being addressed by some of the users of this vile website as race traitor. One sick message to Prince Harry reads, The only good royal is a dead royal. Attention had been brought upon US-based GAB.com months ago, when two British extremists shared a poster depicting Prince Harry with a gun pointed at his head against a blood-splattered background over the caption See you later, race traitor. The image had been shared by 19-year-old Briton Michael Schuch, who was later jailed alongside with another UK citizen, Oscar Dunkocharovsky, 18, for encouraging terrorism via messages on GAB.com. The pair's hateful posts were removed from the website after their arrests. But just hours after Schuch and Dunkocharovsky were sentenced, New messages on the same line popped up on the website, accusing Prince Harry of polluting the royal line by marrying a mixed-race American actress. Other messages address Meghan using racial and sexist slurs. And GAB.com's bosses are refusing to take these posts down, claiming they are defending the rights of British extremists to express their opinions and protection from state interference. GAB.com is run by Texas millionaire Andrew Torba and has more than 850,000 members. Its content is available only to registered users, while unregistered people can only see a white and green landing page saying, a social network that champions free speech, individual liberty and the free flow of information online. All are welcome. Mr. Torba himself defended the content of his website. He told the Sunday Mirror, U.S. free speech jurisprudence protects offensive and hateful speech because it recognizes that unpopular speech, not popular speech, is what needs protection from state interference if society is to remain free, which England is not. We will not take any content down unless it is illegal in the United States. Our legal team, not whining complaints from reporters, makes those determinations. GAB.com has been linked to the horrific Pittsburgh synagogue shooting which took place on October 27 last year, as suspect Robert Bowers allegedly posted his final messages on that website before killing 11 people. Mr. Torba said Gab actually helped police with the investigation, as the site handed over information about Bowers's account. He said, because he was on Gab, law enforcement now have definitive evidence for motive. They would not have had this evidence without Gab. In Britain, a growing number of people and associations are calling for GAB.com to be shut down. Labour MP Wes Streeting, chair of the all-party parliamentary group for British Muslims, called for Gab to be shut down, saying, it's time something more was done about sites like Gab. There's a fine line between freedom of speech, which is oppressed in dictatorships, and speech which incites hatred and violence. Patrick Hermanson, of advocacy group Hope Not Hate, added, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry quickly become targets of hate by the far-right online. Gab is one of the platforms where this happens because of its direct attempts to market itself as a home to the far-right online, the usage of far-right rhetoric by its founder, and its unwillingness to moderate hate speech.